Give me a poster there, buddy. Make sure I sign it. There you go. Here's the only one poster that's two sided. When we find out go, he buddy. has another talent, he can draw. All right, we're here at Fremont Street, Terrell's Cup 3. I'm taking the mic. Is a woman. I was told Cameron blew a tranny once, so I think that's what he meant. Yeah, real nice. Right, I'm about a little wager on the tire changing competition. All right. How much? He's got some accident. The 100? The 500 you owe me, double or nothing. You're never going to pay it off anyway. Why don't we just do it for 100? It's all good. Well, I don't know why you want to keep digging yourself a bigger hole. <laughs> digging me a bigger hole? I'm the guy that's up. Hey, what do you need you're 500 down bucks 500. for? You can get a haircut for five bucks the way you run that all thing. Right, 100 dollars. Hundred bucks. All right. Is this a cash deal or just cash deal? imaginary? We're just doing it to beat Cameron. I'm winning. That's the easiest hundred I ever won. Put it on upside down so I can see it the right way. I'm practicing the white fires. I do it all. <laughs> there you go. Every time I turn around, that thing's in my face! Apparently, I passed uh, Rob McCacker under the yellow, so uh, I had the win, and then they took it away from me. Uh, me and Rob were side by side. I was on the inside, going to the hairpin, going to the oval. Side by side. Side by tire side. Tire to tire. Tire to tire. And uh, I pushed him out, and I got around him. Which is the right move. And after uh, I got over the after hill, you got around the corner. I saw the caution with the guys, with the, whoever was parked yeah, on the far right hand side, completely and totally out of danger. There's no way that I'm going to drift to the inside of a corner. Obviously it's physics, it's the laws of physics, that's never going to happen. Uh, if I would have saw, saw the yellow flag, things would have been different, but I can't see through hills. Uh, hey, you know what, BJ, I think that will be, that will be overturned upon further review. Rob. Tell us your story on uh, what happened. Well, there in the main event, uh, PJ got a really good start. I got a great start. We got up behind him, and, uh, you know, he was doing really, really good. There was one, one place he was weak, and it was the power. We had a lot of horsepower on him going down the back straight. And about the fourth lap or third lap, I got him. Oh, so he was leading. Oh, no, he was, he was leading. He was doing a great job. I was job. in the race. I, yeah, I was, yeah. I was back. Yeah. Back. 
but BJ was leading the race, and uh, we just kept following around. Was, you know, follow the leader. I'd make a mistake, fall back a little bit, catch back up to him, and going down the back straight, we had a little bit of horsepower on him. And uh, about the fourth lap, I had him on the outside off that last jump in right. the left hander. Right. And uh, but I landed out there in the cush, and the thing slid all the way to that bank on right. the outside. Right. And I thought, that's it. I'm going to end up on the freeway. I hit that bank, and the thing didn't fly tip over. Bounced off it. BJ went back by, and then I just had to get back up on him. I kept getting closer and closer. And uh, on the last lap, I was right on him, come over the finish line. I knew I needed to stay really close to him. So going down that back straight again on the dirt that I could get him, and he left the inside open. I got underneath him into the, that corner out there, and we had the lead, and my spotter goes three car lengths, three car lengths, three car lengths. We went through the moguls, started coming down the front straight. He goes, you got a yellow flag coming up. And uh, I went in there, and I'm mad at myself because I didn't, you know, I was thinking yellow flag, slow down, and I wasn't thinking protect the inside so line. this was the last lap yeah. where the incident happened after we have been around there five times already. Exactly. La very last lap, we're coming around the, the last corner after the little triple. You, you're on the asphalt, and then right. you make the little jump over the end of the infield there. And uh, I, I'm, it was Todd Wiley. He was in that area, and the flagman, they had yellow flags out. Um, my spotter told me there's yellow flags coming up. and uh, They were there the whole race, though. So. Well, I, pretty much, yeah, I would think so. I, you know, Kelly was telling me, and there that lap, you know, there he was, and uh, BJ got inside me. I'm mad at myself for leaving it open for him. We got over there to the finish line, and I'm like, you know, there was a yellow there. I looked over at Sal. Sal was on the phone, and I go, he passed me under the yellow, and I pointed over to Wiley, and he looked at me, he shook his head, and then I'm like, went back to BJ, and I go, you know, I go, y you won this race. I don't know what's going to happen. I go, you got me under the yellow. And uh, no, no, Rob, what I'm hearing right now is that he passed you and now you're using the yellow flag to take the win. No, he 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 did pass me. You 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 let him. He passed you and you were not slowing down for the yellow. He passed you on the same corner that you went the entire time at full speed. He passed me under the yellow. Right or wrong? No, I totally disagree. Okay. You just told us. That you, were, you went wide open around that corner every time before that, correct? He passed me under the yellow. All right. That's well, that's the story.